van singer-songwriter Josh Ritter verscheen vorig jaar zijn cd Hello Starling. En critici waren lyrisch. Ram zoekt voor u uit wie Josh Ritter is. De man achter de muziek van de serie Six Feet Under. I couldn't convince myself in the beginning, before I met people who were actually musicians who did it for a living, that anybody real did music, you know? That anybody who was uh, a real person uh, could, could ever go out and um, do music and make a living at it. It seemed like something that, that pop stars did, you know? And I didn't think of them as real people. I sort of thought they were cartoons, you know? My mind really started to change when I was listening to Johnny Cash because he seemed like a guy that was a real guy and it had like real problems, problems that everybody had. Mm -hmm. And his songs that he played and, and the songs that Bob Dylan played always seemed so simple and it seemed like something where you could just pick up a guitar and there was nothing, there was no obstruction or wall that would keep you from just being mm -hmm. able to write down what you thought, you know. You didn't have to have money to do it and you didn't have to have lots of equipment and you didn't have to have a... Uh, a lot of knowledge to do it. It was something where you could just figure out a way to say what you were thinking. Oh, I've got it here somewhere, my USB cable. I believe. Oh, this is a, this is a, a Joan Baez has been introducing me to old opera singers. So, uh, Every night she gives me a new something new to listen to, and she she gave me some Juicy Beerling, and uh, which I'm 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 listening to out of politeness, and it's really good actually. How uh, did John Bias got to know your music? When I was out in Idaho visiting my parents, she called me out of the blue and just said, you know, hey, this is a uh, Joan Baez. <laughs> I thought, wow, uh, I'd never met her before, but she is, you know, she's a huge part of culture you know she's a kind of a legend and and she uh, she uh, said I, I listened to your song wings and I want to record it for my new record and I was wondering if you wanted to go out on tour you know and I said I'd love to do that and she's like well how would you feel about performing for like 2,000 people a night would you be scared and I thought no uh, I told her no and I tried to say it as convincingly as possible And, and then she said, yeah, right. And then she said, well, I'll see you soon. Well, I know you are waiting, and I know that it is not for me. But I'm here, and I'm ready, and I saved you the passenger seats. Yeah. And I won't be your last dance, just your last good night. I started doing when I was on the road uh, um, about three months ago. I started making books, so I um, I make I make uh, journals because I go through journals pretty fast. I um, I picked this one up in in Paris, and this is just just a nice little book. I use it to keep all my uh, all my um, my stuff in. 
I, I turned into a, a, a into a gearhead this year just because I was going to be away so much this year that I wanted a way to keep in touch and, and keep email because I'd go home and and you know babies would have been born people would have moved away I had no idea and uh, and so I decided I was going to keep in touch and and I was going to do um, take pictures of of uh, the trip and I was going to just something for other people to you know know what I was up to. Do you have a girlfriend at home or why? No, I don't right now, no. I haven't. Um, I would like one <laughs> very much. Uh, but uh but uh but the uh but there's I just haven't been home enough, you know. I was home for about six weeks this last year when I wasn't traveling and and uh it was a tiny amount of time and uh and I won't be home until April. So, you know Sometimes you get lucky and you make friends on the road, but <laughs> but uh, but that's that's a whole other story. But um, <laughs> but I'm, I really do like like I want a good girlfriend, you know. I want somebody when when you know when something great happens, I can call and just be like you know just just shoot the breeze with them and find out what they're doing. And, and uh, but I'm looking for the right one, you know. She, she's a uh, somebody like the girl in the AC/DC songs, you know. <laughs> Making my own city life Out of bourbon and the stars of a barroom fight And face forward in the wind If you don't know where it is but you know where it's been Then it's leaving, leaving, leaving But I don't know where, leaving Leaving, leaving, but I don't know where. I tried to keep myself in line. I've been bad, but I seem to get back in every time. Now I come back, and the place is all locked. Between the doorknob and the doorbell, somebody talked. Now it's leaving. These are shoes that are my lucky shoes. I bought them at a place in New York called Fashion for Millionaires. <laughs> and they don't go at all with the uh, with the suit, but but uh, it's my it's my uh, it's my concession to re rebellion. And every time I turn around, something else just floated away. There ain't a single thing that I found with wings that decided to stay. So, so that's, that's it. Very, I'm ready to go, I'm ready to meet. Ready for Paradiso? Yeah. Josh Ritter, nu beeldende kunst. Hij ontwierp glas- en loodramen voor Paradiso.